The journey from hatchling to adult is tough for any animal, and for Spinosaurus, one of the most remarkable predators of the late Cretaceous period, it was no exception. As the largest known carnivorous dinosaur, reaching lengths of up to 50 feet, Spinosaurus faced unique challenges throughout its life stages that tested its adaptability and survival instincts. Hatchling Spinosaurus were particularly vulnerable. Emerging from their eggs in predator-rich environments, they had to navigate a world filled with threats from other dinosaurs, including larger carnivores like Carcharodontosaurus and even opportunistic predators that scavenge for vulnerable young. Their small size and undeveloped features left them defenseless, forcing them to rely on hiding and blending into their environment to avoid detection. As juveniles, the challenges shifted. Competing for resources in aquatic and terrestrial habitats required growing Spinosaurus to develop their hunting skills quickly. Their semi-aquatic lifestyle likely gave them an advantage, enabling them to exploit fish and other aquatic prey that fewer predators targeted. However, mastering these dual environments demanded extraordinary energy and adaptability. Reaching adulthood brought its own trials, including territorial disputes with other apex predators and the pressure to secure enough food to sustain their massive bodies. The life of a Spinosaurus was a constant battle for survival, a testament to the resilience required to thrive in its prehistoric world. During the late Cretaceous period in what is now Egypt, the waterways were home to a remarkable predator, Stomatosuchus, a member of the Stomatosuchid Neosuchians. This enormous crocodilian, reaching lengths of up to 10 meters or 32 feet, was a formidable presence in its environment. With its massive size and powerful jaws, Stomatosuchus would have been a dominant predator in its aquatic ecosystem. Among its likely prey were young Spinosaurus that ventured to the water's edge, unaware of the danger lurking beneath the surface. Crocodilians like Stomatosuchus represent one of Earth's most enduring evolutionary lineages. These creatures, members of the Crocodilomorph Pseudosuchians, have existed for over 235 million years. Their remarkable resilience and minimal morphological changes over millions of years highlight their evolutionary success, making them some of the most impressive animals to have ever lived. Stomatosuchus was an exceptional member of the crocodilian family. Unlike modern crocodiles, which are equipped with sharp teeth for tearing flesh, Stomatosuchus had a unique anatomy. Its flattened skull and elongated jaws were lined with small, peg-like teeth, suggesting a specialized diet that might have included fish, smaller reptiles, and possibly scavenged carcasses. However, given its immense size, it is plausible that Stomatosuchus was an opportunistic predator, capable of targeting larger prey when the opportunity arose. Young Spinosaurus, which frequented water margins as they hunted fish and other aquatic prey, would have been vulnerable to an ambush from Stomatosuchus. Unlike their towering adult counterparts, juvenile Spinosaurus lacked the size and strength to defend themselves against such a large and stealthy predator. Much like modern crocodilians, Stomatosuchus likely relied on patience and surprise, waiting motionless beneath the water's surface before striking with incredible speed and force. Crocodilians belong to a broader group of reptiles known as Crocodilomorph pseudosuchians, a subset of the archosaurs, a lineage that also includes dinosaurs and modern birds. Appearing hundreds of millions of years ago, the earliest ancestors of crocodiles evolved over 200 million years ago during the late Triassic and early Jurassic, and they quickly diversified into various forms, from terrestrial predators to aquatic hunters like Stomatosuchus. They were the only survivors of the Triassic-Jurassic extinction event. Over millions of years, crocodilians adapted to a wide range of environments, evolving traits that allowed them to thrive in both freshwater and marine ecosystems. Despite facing mass extinctions that wiped out many other prehistoric species, crocodilians persisted, maintaining their fundamental body plan. This evolutionary stability is a testament to their efficiency as predators and their ability to adapt to changing environments. The water's edge has always been a perilous place in the animal kingdom, and this was no different in the time of Stomatosuchus. Young Spinosaurus venturing to the water to fish or drink 
were likely unaware of the threat lurking beneath the surface. With its camouflaged body and stealthy movements, Stomatosuchus could have approached undetected, using its size and strength to overpower its prey in a single swift motion. This predatory behavior mirrors that of modern crocodilians, which are known for their opportunistic and indiscriminate feeding habits. A Nile crocodile, for example, will attack anything within reach, including birds, mammals, and even other crocodiles. It is easy to imagine Stomatosuchus adopting a similar approach, making it one of the apex predators of its time. The evolutionary adaptations of Stomatosuchus would have been key to its dominance. Its elongated, flat jaws allowed it to catch fish with precision, while its large size made it capable of taking down larger prey when needed. Additionally, its powerful tail and streamlined body enabled it to move swiftly in water, giving it a significant advantage over less aquatic animals like young Spinosaurus. The evolutionary traits of crocodilians have consistently proven effective. Their armored skin, composed of tough, bony scutes, provides protection against predators and environmental hazards. Their ability to regulate their metabolism allows them to survive on minimal resources for extended periods, a trait that likely contributed to their survival through mass extinction events. Although Stomatosuchus is long extinct, its legacy lives on in the study of crocodilian evolution and the ecosystems of the late Cretaceous. Its existence highlights the incredible biodiversity of the time, showcasing the variety of strategies animals use to survive in complex and competitive environments. The ecosystems of the Cretaceous period were marked by intense competition, predation and survival struggles, particularly among the apex predators. In the North African regions where both Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus thrived, these dynamics created a complex web of interactions. While adult Spinosaurus was an apex predator in aquatic and semi-aquatic environments, its young would have been vulnerable to a host of terrestrial threats, including adult Carcharodontosaurus. Given its size, hunting behavior, and terrestrial dominance, it is highly likely that Carcharodontosaurus preyed upon young Spinosaurus, adding another layer of peril to the already precarious early life of this extraordinary dinosaur. Adult Carcharodontosaurus was one of the largest theropods, reaching lengths of up to 40 feet and weighing several tons. Armed with powerful jaws and serrated teeth designed for slicing through flesh, it was a formidable predator capable of taking down large prey. Unlike Spinosaurus, which was adapted for a semi-aquatic lifestyle with relatively weaker jaws better suited for catching fish, Carcharodontosaurus was a terrestrial hunter optimized for taking down large land-based prey. This ecological dominance on land would have made young Spinosaurus an accessible and desirable target. Young Spinosaurus were not equipped with the size, strength or aquatic skills of their adult counterparts. Hatchlings and juveniles likely remained close to shorelines or marshy environments where they could evade some terrestrial predators. However, these environments also placed them at risk of encountering Carcharodontosaurus, which likely patrolled the same areas in search of food. The juvenile's small size, coupled with their developing mobility and defenses, would have made them easy prey for such a skilled predator. Predators like Carcharodontosaurus were likely opportunistic, taking advantage of any available food source. While hunting fully grown Spinosaurus would have been a risky endeavor given their size, aquatic capabilities and sharp claws, preying on the young posed far fewer challenges. Juvenile Spinosaurus lacked the size and strength to defend themselves effectively, making them a low risk, high reward meal. The ecological overlap between these species further supports the likelihood of predation. Fossil evidence suggests that both Carcharodontosaurus and Spinosaurus inhabited floodplains, river systems, and deltas. These areas were rich in resources, attracting a variety of prey species and predators. The same environments that provided young Spinosaurus with food and shelter also made them more accessible to terrestrial predators like Carcharodontosaurus. The teeth of Carcharodontosaurus were markedly different from those of Spinosaurus or Tyrannosaurus rex, reflecting their specialized roles as apex predators. While T. rex had robust conical teeth designed for crushing bone, Carcharodontosaurus's teeth were thin, serrated, and blade-like, 
perfectly adapted for slicing through flesh. The serrations on Carcharodontosaurus teeth functioned much like a steak knife, making them highly effective at tearing through muscle and sinew. This slicing capability allowed the predator to inflict deep wounds on its prey, causing significant blood loss and weakening its victims. Unlike T. rex, which often consumed bones as part of its diet, Carcharodontosaurus likely focused on the softer, more nutrient-rich parts of its prey. In contrast, Spinosaurus had teeth that were conical and less serrated, adapted for gripping slippery prey, such as fish in its semi-aquatic environment. This difference highlights the ecological diversity of these predators, with each adapted to exploit distinct food sources. The blade-like teeth of Carcharodontosaurus not only underline its role as a flesh-focused predator, but also illustrate the evolutionary diversity among theropods, with each species uniquely suited to thrive in its environment. The vulnerability of Spinosaurus hatchlings likely influenced their survival strategies. To avoid predators like Carcharodontosaurus, juvenile Spinosaurus may have relied on camouflage, hiding among vegetation near water, or remaining in shallower aquatic areas where larger terrestrial predators would have difficulty reaching them. However, these strategies were far from foolproof, especially against an apex predator capable of venturing into a variety of terrains. Parental care might have played a role in improving the odds of survival for young Spinosaurus. If adults guarded nesting sites or accompanied their young, this could have provided some protection from predators. Still, the sheer size and hunting prowess of Carcharodontosaurus would have made such defences difficult to maintain especially given the constant threat of other predators and environmental challenges. The predation of young Spinosaurus by Carcharodontosaurus highlights the complex and interconnected nature of Cretaceous ecosystems. Predators like Carcharodontosaurus played a crucial role in controlling populations and maintaining ecological balance. By preying on vulnerable young, they indirectly influence the behaviour and distribution of species like Spinosaurus driving evolutionary adaptations such as nesting habits, growth rates, and habitat preferences. This dynamic also underscores the brutal realities of life in the Cretaceous. Survival required constant vigilance and adaptation, particularly for species like Spinosaurus, whose juveniles occupied a precarious position in the food chain. While adult Spinosaurus were formidable predators in their own right, their young were far from invincible facing threats from predators like Carcharodontosaurus at every turn. 